guys, hope you're doing well and today I am going to show you how to route your Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus uh, running the Android version 8. So first off, uh, there are a few files which you need, some of the prerequisites which we need to run through. So first of all, let's go into the settings and uh, just check out that uh, what sort of model do you have and what um, uh, sort of uh, software are you running, what version of software are you running. So I have the Samsung SMG 955FD and uh, in the software information you can see I've got the Samsung Experience version 9 and the Android uh, 8.0. If you're running a different um, version then definitely this is not going to be for you. I mean you can give it a try but I really doubt it's going to work. The main thing is that you need to go into your about phone. You would have this developers option open up. In this developers option you would have a line over here which says OEM unlock so I don't have it because I previously rooted it and I put on the stock firmware again now the stock firmware is the firmware which comes along with the phone and uh, I would recommend you to download the exact stock firmware which is off your phone in case if things go wrong so once you have that OEM unlock just I'm gonna show you in a second so guys, um, so uh, I'm going to make another video to show you that how to get the OEM unlock if you don't have the OEM, uh, OEM unlock. So I'm assuming that you have not rooted your phone before and you should get this OEM unlock straight away. So after you have this, then you're all good to go and uh, let's head to the PC and let's look over there. So just uh, keep this, you have to keep this on and make sure you've connected your USB-C cable uh, to your phone which is very important uh, try to get a original USB-C uh, cable or just get a very good brand because sometimes if you don't have a good USB-C cable that that's another reason that you know it creates problems uh, down the road so um, so yeah guys we're done with the phone so in the dual sim card uh, section slot I've put in the SD card um, so I have one slot for uh, the SIM card, uh, but I've used it uh, one of the slots for the SD card, and uh, I'm just going to show you guys here. So here you go. I have uh, the SD card over here. It's really important because you need to transfer the files on this SD card. There are these three different files which you need to transfer it onto the SD card. I'm going to show you in a bit. So guys, uh, once you connect your phone, you should get. Uh, this option over here uh, I'm just gonna go a bit back and this is basically your computer your Windows computer and over here you should have your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus showing up in the drive section so in this drive section what you have to do is just double click it open it up and over here you have your card and your phone hit the card open it up and over here you have to copy these three files which is the Majisk, RMM state and Samsung anti-root removal. Now as I said guys I'm gonna put a link in the description below what files you need for it. I'm just gonna quickly show you what are the different files which you need. So so guys you can download your stock ROM uh, from a website which I put a link in the description you just have to put the serial number or you should know which model of phone you're running and then you can download the stock ROM I've downloaded the stock ROM which is related to my phone exactly so the, so that is it I've kept it for backup purposes then what you need to do is download Majisk RMM state and Samsung anti root these three files zip files have to go on your SD card over here as I showed you guys before and then you have the Odin which is this this will be basically installed onto your desktop and this is the software used to flash your Samsung phone and then you have a very important file over here which is the twerp Twerp is the interface or the software which will be installed through the Odin onto your phone and that will basically root, help in routing your, uh, your Samsung device. So right now let's go back into my phone and I'm just going to show you guys over here. 
I've uh, just for uh, record purposes I've downloaded root checker and if I open up root checker over here and show you hit check it says very clearly that my phone is not rooted after this process we'll do this again and I'll show you that it is rooted over here so guys let's go ahead and root the phone so first off what you need to do is power off your phone so here we go hit power off so once your phone is powered off the second thing you want to do is hold down volume down key bixby key and power key so volume down bixby key and power key so once you do that successfully you should get this turquoise blue sort of screen uh, with a hazard logo over here saying volume up to continue volume down to cancel and restart your phone um, so what you need to do is you just need to hit volume up so as soon as you hit volume up it should give you this option it said downloading do not turn off target and now let's head back to the computer and see what we need to do from there so guys first off we open up Odin and we just open up the software and the first thing what we need is we need the uh, just make sure that you have auto reboot checked in the options and F reset time is checked rest it shouldn't be checked just follow as it shows on my screen uh, secondly make sure that your phone is connected one of the ways to check it that check it is that you can uh, remove the USB cable and it should show you as removed and if you plug your USB cable back in again it should show you as added so that's one thing and then the only thing you need to do to root your phone is hit AP and in AP um, you just have to find your twerp.tar uh, do not extract this just uh, open it as it is uh, open when I say it, it just load it into your Odin and then what you need to do is hold your phone and just um, just go to the start button on the on the computer on the Odin and as soon as you hit start your your screen will go blank and before the Samsung logo comes up you have to hit the the volume up button big speak key and power key so you have to hit volume up button big speak key and power key so let's go ahead let's go ahead and hit start and let's see what happens so I've hit start that's it guys so three keys just before the logo came up I've hit it and you should be uh, presented with the twerp so this is the twerp display in which you you're going to load all the files and you're going to start rooting your phone right and the first thing is what you need to do is you need to uh, hit keep read only just follow the ways as I'm showing you then what you need to do is you need to wipe hit wipe over here and then just hit format data and here you can type yes this will basically format all the, the data in your phone and you need to do a reboot system and do not install so that would reboot your phone and it will bring you again back again into the twerp menu and the twerp should be installed and over here you can see we've done the wipe now the second thing we want to do is the reboot uh, we have to hit reboot and recovery and then it will basically it will reboot and then it will take us into the recovery again yeah so we are in the twerp again and here what we need to do is we need to um, just swipe it and then we need to install and just select storage in the storage section select storage and hit your micro SD cards so first what we need to do is we install we need to install the three three files so we go to add more zip files so Majesk, RMM state and Samsung anti-root hit the back button and over here you can hit install and that is it and you just hit confirm to flash so we just swipe to confirm the flash 
and it will give you the screen it will run the whole script it's basically unpacking the zip files and here it's installing uh, the Samsung anti-root and the twerp and the magisk so guys at this stage what you should see over here is a successful mark and it says install zip file is successful everything is done and then you have to hit reboot and do not install twerp and here we go guys uh, all you have to do is hit do not install and your phone should reboot successfully and it should be rooted now it's just going to take some time to basically uh, boot and once it's booted I'll show you that it's been completely rooted and we just have to install a few of uh, other applications uh, in Majesk and we'll be good to go then. So guys my phone has just rebooted and now we're gonna check that uh, if it's rooted or not so I'm just gonna go ahead and install the root application the root check application so you'll come up with uh, all these different applications so what you can do is you can just click any of the application it doesn't really matter so I'll just hit the root checker basic and it'll basically verify the root and here I have to grant super user and here we go guys you have full root access and you've got super user access as well so that's done and then we can go into the Magist manager and we can check the status of the safety net and here it's showing us as true so guys thanks for watching once again i hope you liked it and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and do share my video all right guys catch you in my next video bye for now